Hi, this is Kevin from Sonoma Partners, and today I'd like to talk to you about some of the different ways that we present approval workflows in Dynamics 365 to customers. To start our story, let's take the scenario of a field seller working an opportunity in the system. Leveraging the business process flow at the top of the screen, it's easy to step through an organization's sales methodology consistently. Now notice what happens when we increase the discount percentage. Using the conditional branching feature of the business process flow, a new discount approval step appears. As we advance to that step, you'll notice that the multi-entity feature of the business process flow prompts us to create a new approval record related to our opportunity. Now in a basic approvals workflow, maybe this is all we need. Managers could review a view or a queue on a dashboard with the ability to work new approval requests as they come in. Often we find ourselves building custom toolbar buttons to facilitate the process of approving or denying these requests. In slightly more complex scenarios, we sometimes find ourselves building out additional routing logic via workflows or plugins. Maybe based on the product family or the total discount value, different managers or multiple people will need to sign off on a given approval. All of this we're able to solution for from within the Dynamics 365 platform. However, sometimes clients request functionality that's even more advanced still. And in those cases, we start to leverage Flow and Logic Apps. Using Flow, we can wire up a process that alerts managers when they have a new approval request via text message. We can also have Flow send an approval request email to that manager. With the benefit of triggering this email from Flow being that the recipient can see discrete approve and deny toolbar actions when they open the email in Outlook. Flow can then pick up on those responses and continue working down the correct conditional path. Finally, if we want to take full advantage of the Azure stack, we can leverage Logic Apps and Azure Functions so that managers can actually respond to those approval request text messages from their phones to approve or deny them. We're able to consume these text message replies in Azure, to update the approval records in Dynamics, and to continue working through the remaining steps in our Logic Apps. And that's a quick overview of some of the different tools and approaches that we use related to approval workflows here at Sonoma Partners. If any of this is interesting to you, or if you have any additional questions, as always, give us a shout at our website, sonomapartners.com.